Today we are reacting to Akash Singh proving some stereotypes about Indians <laughs> are true. So let's okay. go take a look. I'm curious to see the stereotypes. I think we can agree on even though you guys seem to make it look easy. Oof. Work, right? Did you just show up late and sit in the VIP after being... That's not for you. You didn't pay for that and you're 20 minutes late. Uh-huh. This is Indian women right there. She's 30 minutes late to the show. Didn't pay for... 30 me. minutes! I belong there. <laughs> when I saw your husband go this way and you go this way, I was like, she's out of her... Mind. <laughs> She's out of her goddamn mind, dude. White people are so happy, dude. They have Indian friends and coworkers. They fucking hate how late they are all the time. <laughs> it's so cathartic for them. Do you guys have Indian friends that are just fucking disrespectful of your time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's saying yes. <laughs> She's saying yes. White lady, you took these. Some, there's probably Indians that are even later, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> just seem rich as fuck. What do you do for a living, dude? I oh, yeah. told you. I fucking told you. What kind of doctor? A real doctor or like family practice? <laughs> <laughs> that is rude for all the family practice doctors. <laughs> what kind of doctor? Radiology. Oh, that makes a lot of money. <laughs> Stop being embarrassed about it, okay? Be rich, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of Indian? Are you Indian? And what about you? Pakistani as well? Beautiful doctor as well? What do you do? Beautiful. <laughs> that's lovely. I don't like that. That's fucking awesome. Awesome. You guys have kids? That's beautiful. How many kids? Four. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> 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 Building a new uh, town. empire. <laughs> Not shy everywhere, huh? God bless, dude. That's awesome. Poor, of course, you're stay at home. That's you got more of a job than he does. Yeah, you four kids. Save anybody's life. He looks at a fucking X-ray. And <laughs> <laughs> My sister dated a guy, cousin, but Indians, you know, sister. Uh, she she dated a radiologist. This guy sucked. He used to always complain about how hard his job was. He'd be like, oh, dude, I was so tired from work. And I'd be like, what, what is tiring? <laughs> 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 it's true. They always do that in movies. Oh, really? Radiologists don't talk. You don't talk to anybody all day, right? You just sit there at fucking x-rays for nine hours a day, go home, pretend you worked hard, and then that's, that's what you do. <laughs> that's why he's so horny when he gets home. He hasn't interacted with a human being in nine hours. <laughs> I'm sure they see a lot of people. What learn from being married? How to be a good husband? I'm trying to be the best husband. I'm taking notes. You don't know? <laughs> Whatever she says, that's what you've learned. <laughs> Look at the fucking single women clapping. There's <laughs> 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 always a single woman clapping and shit like that. <laughs> what's, the biggest, what's the most recent fight you got into? Let me figure out whose fault it was. <laughs> crocs. Croc. Oh, for the kids. You wouldn't let the kids have fucking crocs. This is Kimmy. She wanted them to all be the same color. What a bitch. <laughs> How is that a fight Imagine subject? Is like an absolute bitch. How dare you? I know you don't help anybody at your job, but you at least help your kids. <laughs> 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 Oh, there's the uh, <gasps> people. One, One hour, hour later. <laughs> so that woman really almost took the seat of someone else. Yeah. Hey, put your fucking phone here. Give me your fucking phone. You know you lost your phone for the rest of the fucking night, dickhead. Fucking Indians always late, right? Let me look at the goddamn time. Sad but true. Nine sometimes. Show, yeah. Show up at ten or nine. Why? What were you late for? You were the one that was late, I could tell. I know, I know by looking. See the Sata boy, he's in the fucking, he was pissed off at you. He's the responsible, I know, looking at him. This kid got his life together. You were like a fucking idiot. That's why I took your phone. Notice I only took your phone. Your stupid fucking West Indian haircut. Are you Trinidadian? You better be fucking Guyanese and have that goddamn hair. If you're not Guyanese and you have that stupid fucking haircut, I'm gonna have a real problem with it. It's not stupid if you're Guyanese. What are you? <laughs> not would have never guessed Gujarati. You guys paid for VIP and didn't even show up. <laughs> very not Gujarati of them, actually. To pay the money. Because they're cheap. Like that? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I mean, that's the image. Stereotype. Oh, right? interesting. So why were you late, dipshit? <laughs> you had to fix your finger. What happened to your finger? <laughs> Guy tried to make me feel bad, right? Sprain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, dog. Thank you. You're an hour late because you sprained your finger. One hour though. Huh? Oh, yeah, this guy got x-rayed. <laughs> <laughs>
An excellent <laughs> safe is lying. Because there's, yeah. there's a good chance he's lying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he feels really bad about being <laughs> criticized in front of everyone. <laughs> I hate this kid, dude. I hope you get no fucking matches on Bumble or Bill Miller or whatever fucking actor I'm He's not coming back to the show anytime soon. That made me laugh, and those of you who got it, I, I hope you're with me. Oh, I got him. <laughs> oh, what was I talking about before this fucking idiot came in? <laughs> It's it's not comedy anymore, is it? <laughs> it's more <laughs> it's like, like they've been venting like out his frustration. Yeah, I mean, I can understand the one hour late, but, but well, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, after having after uh, started living in Japan, I did work my uh, time sense. I try not to be late and oh, stuff. Oh, really? But I think Indian people, the the they think that if you are late, it's fine. Uh, I mean, it especially if how you late can, you are. if you have an excuse, or if you can well, lie about the excuse, mm. like the, it's fine. But a lot of the countries they don't take it. Uh, I mean, it's gonna play yeah, against way. you at some point. Like at work, it will. It will. Can yeah. you really be late at work, even in India? Yeah, I mean, not only like the, in, uh, it will affect your work, but also it will affect the image of Indian people. Because let's yeah. say there's somebody who's applying for a job, an Indian guy applying for a job in Japan, mm. for example. Uh, the Japanese, if the recruit, the people who are recruiting, if they are Japanese, they might think, okay, so one of the things we are going to deal with this guy potentially is yeah. that he's going to be, uh, he could potentially be late mm. for meetings and stuff. And imagine if it's a f- like client-facing job. Nobody wants yeah. to have somebody who could potentially be late for meetings etc true uh, and they might just you know like not yeah. recruit an indian guy at all because you know like being but late i feel like being late anywhere mate. really because even in private life yeah i feel like if you're always late with your friends at some point they start inviting you yeah. they feel like you don't value their time right yeah the world is becoming more and more open-minded you know they might even with all He's saying it's a stereotype, but, you know, like, he's also saying it's stereotype, stereotypes, but they are like true. Stereotypes, they always come from somewhere. Yeah, right? and it might, like, as mentioned, yeah, it might affect, like, other people. If not you, you could be, like, most of the people, Indian people working in the U.S., they are just absolute, ge- most of them are geniuses. Like, the best of the best, uh, the, how do you say it in, in, in uh, French, creme de la creme? Creme de la creme, yeah. Yeah, they are the creme, <laughs> creme de la creme of the society. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So even with all the negativities that they have, uh, you know, about their characters, like being late, whatever, mm. it might not affect them. But, yeah. you know, like average Indian people like me, it will affect because p- stereotypes, mm. it can affect uh, decision making sometimes, you know, yeah. like especially people have the stereotypes people could have of Indian people like other people. Have. Yeah. yeah, it's always bad. Yeah, hopefully we will uh, be more, uh, <laughs> for, uh, I don't know, timekeeping will become a habit yeah. for us and uh, won't be as, it will s- be just a stereotype in the future and not true. Yeah. Not a fact. Yeah. I mean, in that case, it was true. Though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two pe- two couples arrived late. All four of them Indian people. Yeah, right. <laughs> Horrible. That's funny. Oh, well, yeah. Hopefully we will do better in the future. (laughs) Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye.